My name is David Simpson and this is my top horse, Fudra F. We are both delighted to be working in partnership with Protexin. Their products are incredible and brilliant for the gut health of my horse, especially horses like Fudra, who spends a lot of his year travelling all around Europe and the world. He is on acid ease every day because I think it's brilliant for their stomach and competition horses commonly suffer with stomach ulcers. Uh, Quick Fix is another great syringe, oral syringe product they have which we use when they're travelling. They get one syringe a day because obviously stressful situations like travelling, even though we try to alleviate as much as possible, still hampers a horse's digestion and we want them to arrive at the show in the greatest possible condition. So Quick Fix is a great product for that. Yeah, I, uh, I always loved hunting and then it developed into loving show jumping. We're a very competitive family, so any sport, we were big into rugby, football, everything going up. And show jumping with uh, horses were always a passion of mine, so show jumping was a natural evolution of that. Uh, I think I wanted to give it a go. Uh, I took a year out, I got a place in Nottingham to do veterinary medicine, but I wanted to take a year out and show jump for a year. So I went to Shane's, uh, Shane Beans and Hickshead, and done a year there. And the year was extremely successful, so I really decided then that rather than spend eight years in university, that I'd carry on children. Uh, normal day, in season or out of season, is pretty much the same, obviously weather permitting in the south of England, which we're generally very lucky. I come out onto the yard at about half eight, start riding. I ride from half eight until one o'clock, have a little bit of lunch. The minute we're doing uh, Connor's home schooling over lunch, which is not very enjoyable for both of us. And then after lunch, I either have maybe one or two left to ride, depending on what I've given myself to do that day, and then help in any of the students that are based here or people who come here for lessons in the afternoon and then do that until about 5, 5.30 and then from 5.30 to about half six I'd be in the office with Laurie sorting out scheduling for travel for shows, entries, anything to do with the daily running of the yard and hopefully try and be in the house for half six, seven o'clock and then at the minute where I'm trying to get a bit fitter I then go and do about an hour in the gym. Probably to learn from my mistakes but not dwell on them so long. Negativity doesn't help you. You learn what you've done wrong, learn how not to let that happen again and move on. Don't dwell on it. Secret weapon. Probably uh, my background team. I'm very lucky here uh, both to have Louise, my wife, and so we can work together quite a lot, which is a really good base and keeps you motivated and moving forward. And we have a great bunch of grooms and staff that really make sure the horses are looked after to the best possible levels and they're always in great shape going to shows. Uh, straightness. I think that everybody works, worries about uh, horses bending their necks and doing all sorts of fancy dress side moves, but as long as your horse can canter in a straight line and take off and land in a straight line, you'll a lot of the suppleness and everything will fall into place. Uh, heart. Heart is the most important aspect because they have to fight with you because at that level it's just so tough if a horse isn't working with you you're never going to get results and brains they need to be intelligent because course builders nowadays they build so light and also you have to go at such a pace because time allows are so tight the horse has to be very intelligent uh, currently in the world it would have to be explosion it's just Another level, scope, blood, careful, he is everything. 
I, th- I was asked this in a podcast not that long ago, and if I was picking one from that a horse that's now not in the sport but retired, I think Lampinus, a Dennis Lynch horse, because he had such an exceptional level of scope. Like when he won Acton Grand Prix, it looked like he was cantering around the two star Grand Prix. Uh, in show jumping, uh, I think Marco Kutzer is an incredible role model. I, I would pick him because I'm quite tall and he's quite a tall guy, so he has to work a lot in his balance. So I, thought, I love watching him ride, he's incredible. Uh, also, though, Frankie Slutak, sort of for the same reasons. Yeah, okay, he's uh, no longer competing in the sport, but he still trains a lot. And then outside sport, I love Jorgen Klopp, the manager of Liverpool. I think his attitude and the way he manages his team is incredible. And also my father, he's an incredibly intelligent man. Mine would have to be Asadis. I think it's my, all my horses since we've started working with the Texan are feel better, look better. And I think that's I think gut health is such an important aspect of horse care, especially for competition horses who are, we try to maintain their natural environment as much as possible, but obviously keeping them fit and caring for them, and getting ready to go to shows is impossible for them to have enough time in the field. So I think acid is brilliant to make sure that they always are in great condition and very feeling very comfortable and feeling ready to go to a big show and win big classes. So uh, the R's are on Acidies all the time, whether they're on a competition or at home. Then when we are travelling to shows, they go on to Quick Fix, which is um, a syringe, oral syringe product. They, tra- they get one syringe of that daily while, tra- while travelling. And then when we are on the shows, we use Recovery because recovery aid is a brilliant thing to keep the horses feeling pepped up, fresh and ready to come out every day to do their best.